Okay guys, so our eyes are an important part of our health, but many of us don't take this part of our body as seriously as we need to. Yeah, you're right about yeah. that. The Greater Baltimore Medical Center, or GBMC, is known within the community for the quality of their personalized services to include a range of practices. Here to tell us more important details about our eye health is Dr. Tanvi Shah. Welcome, thank you so much thank for you. being with us. Very thank important you conversation. Thank you guys for hosting us. Of course. So let's talk about the importance of having an eye exam every year, specifically a dilated eye exam. Yeah. So according to the American Academy of Ophthalmology, a routine eye exam is recommended starting at age 40 if you have no family history or eye concerns. Gotcha. Obviously sooner if there's any medical issues, diseases, or concerns with your eyes. Um, and the dilated eye exam allows us to actually see the front surface of the eye and inside the eye to catch any diseases. How long so. does the entire process work? The drops itself mm -hmm. can take 15 to 20 minutes, so that's kind of your waiting time in the doctor's office where you'll see the staff, get your eyes checked, your vision checked, your pressure checked, get the front surface of your eye checked, then they'll put the drops in. You'll sit for another 20 or so minutes, possibly longer, maybe mm -hmm. shorter, and then you'll get the back of the eye exam, the inside of the eye, the retina, the cataracts, the optic nerve, the inside of the eye. The whole process can take about an hour sometimes. Gotcha. That's Good not to too know. bad at all, actually, though, for your eye health. Yeah, I mean, we definitely. use our eyes every day for everything. Definitely. So talk to us about some of the medical diagnoses that are out there that can affect our vision. So almost any medical diagnosis can actually affect your vision. Oh, really? Most commonly, diabetes, which we don't think about affecting our eyes. Mm -hmm. But wow. diabetic retinopathy does affect your eyes. High blood pressure. So if you are on medications for high blood pressure, that can affect your eyes also. And any autoimmune diseases can affect your eyes. They can lead to dryness or the medications you're taking can have eye side effects also. We also have to talk about the digital screen because we spend so yes. much time in front of the screen, but that's yes. not really good for us. Is that true, doctor? Um, the most common side effect from a lot of digital screen use is dryness, yeah. right? When we're focused, when we're looking at our screens, we're not blinking. We're too busy, focused. So dryness is an important component. In general, I recommend taking, you know, a 20 second break every 20 minutes. Really? Try to look 20 feet away or just look off into the distance. Give that eye a chance to look at a target that's not up close. Give that eye a chance to blink a couple times and re-moisturize. Okay, like that's nice what makes 20, sense. 20, 20 rule there. Correct, yeah. exactly. <laughs> that's why my eye twitches sometimes because I'm like so focused on that screen. Right. Gotcha. So when we do have that dryness, do you recommend over-the-counter eye drops to help that? Yeah, so the most common over-the-counter drops that I recommend are actually lubricating eye drops or artificial tears. There's many different brands out there and depending on which price point or which preservative irritates you, different brands are better for different patients and that's a personal preference. And they also do make preservative free drops, which are nice because they have no chemicals in them. They're single use vials, mm -hmm. but you use them once, throw them away. So they're a little bit more expensive. And they make thicker drops like gel drops or ointment. Mm -hmm. However, they'll blur you more, but they last longer. So mm -hmm. it's a really a matter of personal preference as to what you can tolerate or what you really need for your eyes. Gotcha. How about foods that promote healthy eye health? So same thing as your primary care probably tells you, eat healthy. Yeah. In general, we recommend eating vitamin C, vitamin E, omega-3 fatty acids, lutein, zinc are shown to help prevent eye diseases including dryness, macular degeneration, cataracts, common healthy foods, nuts, fruits, green leafy vegetables. Obviously, if there's no contraindication with your other medications. Of course. So is there anything that you think is just very important for patients to know about eye health in general that, you know, is either neglected or just not known? Come in for routine eye exams. A lot of things don't have symptoms. Early glaucoma, early mm. macular degeneration, early cataracts, things that can be diagnosed and treated early may not have signs and symptoms. So just a routine eye care exam with a dilation, and I know it's difficult to get dilated, I know it's not fun, yeah. but it really makes a complete exam possible. Yeah. Your health is your best investment. It is. Correct. So where can we go if we want to learn some more? gbmc.org backslash ophthalmology, and be sure to spell ophthalmology correctly. <laughs> <laughs> it's up on your screen right now if you have any questions about that spelling. Doctor, thank you so thank much for being so with much. us. Thank you so much. These absolutely. are great tips. Yes, very much so. Absolutely. we see you in 2020 soon enough. Exactly. <laughs>